hello hello welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here today's video is a big one for me it's actually my 30th video here on youtube and it's also the last few days before our appraisal and i have a lot still to check off of this to-do list we are going to start with painting and i love keeping a little bit of leftover paint in a container that i can keep in my house that way, whenever I have a little touch-up to do, I can quickly just grab the container. I don't have to go scrummaging through the garage. Scrummaging, scrummaging, scrummaging. I think it's scrummaging, but you get what I mean. You don't have to go through the garage trying to find the paint, and I love doing this. I've kept them in mason jars. I've even kept them in like a Medela breast milk storage bottle with the little yellow lid. You'll see that in the next paint color that I have to use actually but we're gonna touch up this spot right here then we'll be jumping into my bedroom because I have to patch a hole some reason we ended up with a hole in the bedroom from when we did our sconces I'm not sure why but it's all good I'm gonna get it painted and I also have a few little touch-ups to do on my shiplap wall so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to touch up when you get to keep a little sample of the paint right in your house <laughs> a bright star in the dark space mm, babe it never worked out with the others all we ever did was fight and at one point i would never thought that i would make now i'm taking my little medulla bottle full of our iron ore paint and just touching up when we put the lights up and when we finished a few things for this project, we ended up scratching the wall and it stuck out like a sore thumb because the paint underneath it was white. This took me months to do. Why it took me months to do, I have no idea why. It looks so much better. Now that I've finally tackled the paint touch-ups, we get to move to my bedroom and this is actually the next day, which just so happened to be the day before the appraisal. So this was like a morning to night type of cleaning day. My husband ended up jumping in and helping me because we had so much to do and it was crazy busy. He had his real estate class that night and my daughter had a cooking class that night. And my closet, I don't think I've ever shown my closet and it's probably not fair to show it in that condition because it was way worse. I will have to dig up a clip that I never ended up using of my closet before we staged it. It was bad, really bad. Changing topics from my closet though, I'm gonna be doing a semi deep clean in my bedroom. I'm not gonna move the bed even though I really, really want to. It is so heavy. It's the adjustable base and the mattress on top of it is super heavy. So I can't do it myself, but we are going to clean off all of the surfaces. I'll dust all the surfaces and I will also vacuum and mop. We keep the dog's cage in here. Milo loves sleeping in there at night. I'm assuming because the bed gets so full of everyone else that he's like, hey, I'm gonna sleep in the cage. So there is dog hair everywhere. So let's go ahead and get this room cleaned up. This it's all different, you got every little string on me The way you make me feel is crazy How did you get so fly, you got me like My, my, my You got me like My, my, my You got me like There's no other than you now Different, you got every little string on me. The 
I promise this randomly placed little rug has a good purpose. Milo refuses to get off the bed if he does not have a soft place to land. So there has to be like a towel or a blanket or a rug. And since we got rid of the rug that was in here, I had to put this down or else he just sits on the bed and barks. We had the big rug under the bed, but Luna had had a few accidents on it after we got her, and I didn't want to run the risk of having it smell like urine, and maybe we were just used to the smell. Even though I cleaned it super, super well after every time, I just didn't want to chance it when I wasn't going to take it to Georgia anyway. This is where we actually keep the cage and I have it pushed up against my bed right now so if it looks like I'm all over the place with my vacuuming and mopping that is why the cage is huge and it takes up so much space so trying to vacuum and mop around the cage was not easy.
Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be. Okay, so have you ever known you shouldn't do something because your inner self is like, no, leave it, just get through tomorrow? But then your perfectionist side is like, no, let's do it. These globes on this light are super dusty, like super, super dusty. And there's four of them. So the chances of me possibly breaking one are probably pretty high, but they're so gross and I really want to clean up. So we're going to clean up. While I wait for the glass globes to finish drying, I'm going to wipe down the metal rim around these mirrors. I'm trying really hard to work from the top down in here. Like I've mentioned in a few videos, I get very distracted when I clean and I end up all over the place. Sometimes I'll vacuum, then I'll dust. But at least if it's getting done, maybe that's all that matters. Let's go ahead and keep making our way through the bathroom. Ain't gonna 
do under my tattoos Just a remedy, remedy, remedy It's about five o'clock. I am currently at cooking class with my oldest daughter, Madison, and Michael had just gotten home. He had a few kid-free moments in between work and class because my youngest two were at my mom's house. So he decided to jump in and unload the dishwasher and load it back up. And look how cute my son is. He wrote that on my husband's lunch last night. So he's going to keep loading up the dishwasher and then as soon as I get home, I am going to start wiping down all of the appliances. We kind of realized we were down to the wire. So it was like all hands in and we were just trying so hard to get everything done. This way I wouldn't get distracted from my to-do list because for some reason the dishes just weren't on the list. Imagine that. Together, if I could stop the time, don't you know that? I would cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever, 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 forever I'm loving this moment, can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together If I could stop the time, don't you know I ended up lucking out like crazy on this particular night. Michael ended up getting out of class early, so he was able to come home and rescue me. And we are going to go ahead and check in with my to-do list. I definitely get to mark off a few things, including the painting and the appliances, my bedroom. That was a big one. And we were going to do a storage run, but 
we actually had a little mishap with our lock and key and the key got broken off into it. So we are working on getting that back open. We actually had to call a locksmith out today, but the garage, the garage will never be done, I don't think. I think the new buyers are just gonna be stuck with all of our stuff in the garage. No, I'm just kidding. Well, kind of. I wonder what I could leave. I wonder what they might want. I took these clips a little bit earlier in the day. I didn't have time to vacuum at this exact time, but I wanted to show you guys how bad my floors get. I really feel like it's so hard to capture how dirty things really are on camera. So I kind of think it's a little bit misleading. Our house faces the west, so when the sun sets, it shines right into our house and it illuminates the dirt and the dog hair and the dust. So vacuuming is definitely a daily thing in this house, and it just so happens to be very late at night. I am trying to get everything that needs to be vacuumed done. I headed into the kitchen, I cleared the countertops off, that way if any crumbs fell on the floor, I could just vacuum them up still. My kids need to get to bed. Well, except the baby. I don't think the baby ever sleeps, but the big kids need to get to bed. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe all the countertops down so we can vacuum in the kitchen. Forgot that feeling, the sun in my face, it's so well needed. Life will take care of the rest. Biking alone in the sunset, through the canals so the mindset I need. Now that the garbage can is done and I get to mark it off of my to-do list, we are going to turn to the stovetop. Have any of you tried out this pink stuff? I have to admit, it really does work really well. I've seen it all over social media. I had a viewer recommend it to me and then I noticed it was at Walmart. So all I had to do was add it to my Walmart pickup order that I do every single week and it just magically appeared. I love the Wyman's glass cooktop cleaner along with their razor blade and then I followed up with a little bit of glass cleaner and this stuff took out the razor blade and the need for the glass cleaner. Somehow, when I used the hot water on the microfiber cloth, it shined it right up. It was really weird. I don't know how it worked, but I have to admit, it definitely works really well. I was a little intimidated because it says not to apply too much pressure. I only scrubbed good enough to get whatever I was trying to get off, off and then I kind of let up after that. I definitely recommend looking into it. We are down to the last two things I have to do tonight, which is wipe all the countertops off and mop the floor. I'm gonna leave the dishes that are on the island there to just air dry and then I'll put them away in the morning. I also have to make all the kids' beds in the morning. I have to make our bed in the morning. There's just a few things I need to tidy up still. I went ahead and took footage of the house before the appraisal. So I will go ahead and add that to the end of the video. That way you guys can see how hard we worked over the last five days. It was intense. I am definitely glad it's over. We just got word back that everything is still on. We are good to go. The contract is still rolling. So we should know soon when our closing date is. And that's when I think things will really get real. Like when we have an actual date that we have to be out by. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this crazy process. I still can't believe we're doing this some days, but 
we are doing it and thank you so much for hanging out and tagging along on this process. We get to check off a whole bunch of stuff on our list except the garage. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you want to, definitely hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you all in my next one. Bye! Blindfold